Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Uh, everybody is still alive in their temporary holding pins, but today is the day where I build the permanent one. And it's really early, and I just woke up. Uh, the wife had to leave for work. So, a little while here, I'm going to be taking the van, going to buy all the supplies that I need to build the chicken coop that we drew out. Um, it's probably going to take me a good bit of the day to get it put together. But, it needs to be done because we can't keep the chickens in those pens that we built last night forever because they are small. Especially the roosters because the roosters are quite large. And, uh, yeah, they don't have no room in there to walk around. So, <clears throat> here in a little while, I'm going to get up and go to Lowe's and pick up all the stuff that I need to get the chicken coop done today. So, you guys stick around for that, okay? Alright, I'm on my way to Lowe's now to go and pick up the supplies needed for the chicken coop. It is like 8.30 in the morning. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get this thing together. But, uh, it'll be worth it so we can get these chickens out of these little temporary cages and get them all into one big one. Hopefully, we don't, because I know that two, roo two of the roosters that we bought yesterday, um, I guess when they came off the auction line, somebody had placed them really close together and they got into a fight and they blooded each other up pretty bad. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys that, but yeah, they were all bloody in the face, and there's just all kinds of, there's blood everywhere, so we're going to have to separate those two, because we think one of them was used in uh, cockfighting. We're not entirely sure, but that's the speculation that one of those jaw roosters were used in cockfighting, <clears throat> so he might be aggressive, we're not sure. He seemed alright last night when we were taking him out of that, that carrier thing that they had him in to put him into the temporary holding pen. But uh, it was nighttime and you know the chickens were a little more docile at night. So we don't know yet. We're gonna find out. And uh yeah, we're just gonna go here to Lowe's to get some wood. I am back from Lowe's, got all the stuff I need hopefully but I'm gonna start an attempt to get this chicken coop up and going. Uh, probably gonna build it somewhere out here in the grass, probably right out there. That way I can, uh, I should be able to, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be heavy enough where we can't move it. It's just some a wood frame with some chicken wire and some uh, a metal tin roof. So it shouldn't be too bad to carry. So whatever the wife wants to move it, we can move it to where she needs and it should be all right so we can get these chickens out of these temporary cages and get them into a permanent, semi-permanent structure to where they have more room so they're not cooped up in these tiny little spots. Okay. So before I start, I'm going to give you an up to give you a uh, idea of what we're going to do. The Cooper building is more of like an A-frame type. <clears throat> so what we're trying to go for is an eight foot long uh, coop by probably about maybe four foot wide or so, four to five foot. And then uh, it's gonna be hopefully about five foot high. So what we're doing here is I got three or four eight foot long sections of two by four that are gonna run the top and the two bottoms. And then we're gonna take these here. Those are five foot sections and they're gonna be work as the sides. I'm gonna angle them or 45 degree angle them to where they come down. And I'm gonna place those every two feet so there'll be two foot of section in between each little rafter. And then inside we will build a little upper level kind of decking to where they'll put the nesting boxes and stuff right there so we can actually, and then we can put them in a place right there at night where we can lock them up at night and then let them out in the morning so they can come down in the run and just kind of play around or do what chickens do. So I'm going to get to work first. I'm going to kind of cut these, I'm going to pre-cut these boards here so they're easier to work with and that way I don't have to worry about cutting on the fly. I can just cut all my pieces ahead of time and just get them start screwing them in.
All right, I got all those cut. That was about 10 pieces. So now I got those all cut in the right angle, hopefully. Now I just gotta get the upper top frame and connect all the rafters together to the top frame. Well, I just realized that um, I got the top cut. Still gotta cut the bottom. I don't know why I skipped that. I was gonna try and skip that. So I need to cut the bottom at an angle too so I can connect the side plates. Because the way it's gonna be, it's gonna come down. It's gonna have the top piece and it's gonna angle down this way. Then we have a bottom piece that runs like this right here so the angle needs to meet the bottom piece there. So we're gonna do another 45 degree angle at the bottom so it butts up to it nicely. Right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this board right here, this 10 foot two by four, and I'm gonna mark it every two feet from the back, from the end. So starting at the end, then two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet, till I hit eight feet. That'll mark, so we'll have at least three or four rafters in the middle there <clears throat> to mark the place where the rafters are gonna go, where they're gonna come and slant off the two by four. All right, so the way it's gonna work out, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, five going all the way across. So, starting from there, I'll have one there, two, three, four, the last one's five. And I'll have five on each side, so that makes 10, which we got just the just amount that we need. That's right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these things on, screwing them in. Where we can stand it up and see how tall it's going to be. It's probably going to be maybe four and a half feet tall. We were going to go for five, but I guess the way the angles are, I needed longer than five foot rafters. But I might be able to lift it up some, so I'm not worried about it too much, but we're going to find out, so we'll see. All right, so, so far so good. I got one side done, and I'm gonna flip it, do the other side, and then hopefully stand it up and figure out how I'm gonna do the bottom and the front and the back. Yeah. All right, quick update. Uh, it started to rain. Yeah, it's raining, can't do much. When it rains, uh, everything I had, I tore it down. Uh, for a couple reasons but mainly because I didn't like the way it was turning out it wasn't tall enough and it was kind of flimsy so I need to think rethink a new strategy on how to do this uh, the wife had a, probably a better idea she texted me and told me her idea so we might try that instead but right now we just can't do anything with the rain and it stinks really stinks because I wanted to try and get this done today hopefully it lets up so I can do more here in a little bit I don't know but it's looking like a nice little rain and meanwhile the chickens are out there in the rain 
with no cover because we don't have anything to cover them up with. But, you know, chickens are chickens. You know, they'll be okay in the rain. So, hopefully this rain lets up soon. So the day is getting darker. Well, the day is coming up. Um, the chicken coop that I was building originally, like I said earlier, I scrapped it because it wasn't turning out how I wanted to. It was flimsy and the wife had a better idea, so I was trying to go with that. And this is kind of what I came up with. And it will be used. We just won't use it for all the chickens. Yeah, it'll be used for just the chicks because we got like uh, we got a fair few of those, so it'll be used for those until they get big enough to put into the larger pen that we plan on building soon. I don't know exactly when, but soon, but we'll have to build them soon. So, but what we did do is we broke down. We said, the heck with trying to build one. And we went and bought a prefabricated one, which we are putting together right now. There's all the parts there. And I usually don't like doing that type of stuff because I know I can build stuff with my hands and it's, I feel better about it. But there's a learning curve. There's a learning opportunity right here for not just me, but for everybody out there. Just because, I mean, you don't have to always do stuff the hard way. Sometimes the easy way, easier way is a little bit better, whether it's going to just buy something that's pre-made and just putting it together, or, you know, just finding the easy way to do stuff. Sometimes it's okay. And I know sometimes I have a hard time dealing with that because I don't like the easy way sometimes because I feel like if I do it the harder way, it's better and it means more because you put the work in but in this case we still have to put it together so it's still putting work in uh, but uh, yeah I'm doing this right now me and the wife are putting it together and we will uh, give you guys a finished product when I'm done all right it is late it's after nine o'clock we finished the, the chicken coop it's just too dark to show you guys I want to show you guys some other time <sighs> excuse me we were able to get about five chickens in there. Uh, so what we believe to be one or two roosters and about three hens, hopefully. We got them set up in there and tomorrow hopefully we can finish the A-frame that I was working on earlier today so we can get another rooster in there with the rest of the divvies. And then we can have all the chickens will be having somewhere to go until we build the larger grand scheme of chicken coops. That'll probably just take a little bit longer. Hopefully, not too in the not in the not too far off that we can do that. But uh, yeah, it's been a long day. I'm tired. The wife is tired. Yeah, we're both tired, and I'm muddy from getting in the pig pen earlier. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, we got a second pig. It is a female this time. Amber's been wanting to get Wilbur a girlfriend for quite some time now and she got him one but this pig is only probably a little over a month old. She's still a little small but that did not stop Wilbur from trying to get him some did it not? Yeah. Yeah that did not stop him from immediately jumping in there trying to get him a little piece. But uh yeah we did get him so we did get her so we'll show you her tomorrow or well, hopefully well, we should we'll be out here pretty we'll be outside for a good bit tomorrow trying to get some stuff done around here but yeah so tonight's gonna be a relaxing night from now on me and the wife are just gonna sit out here for a little bit kind of chill what do you think babe yeah i think it's gonna be an early day because we got tractor supply in the morning yeah 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 tractor supply so i need to take a shower because i'm muddy and in order for me to take a shower though i gotta get like almost 18 chickens out of our bathtub i think it's 19 19 19 well, I gotta get a lot of chickens out of our bathtub <laughs> so I can take a shower because I stink and I'm muddy. But that's it for tonight, guys. You guys have a good night, and I am the Bearded Homesteader.